Hey guys, it's Rose from the Yarn Shop at Alma Park, and this is the opening of the 2022 Advent Calendar. It was done by me and Jess from Jesse, Father Arts by Jesse, and I just thought you'd like to take a look what's inside. So here is the pattern that came free with the kit. It's called the Windows of History Shawl. It's made by me. Um, it's available on Ravelry or our website. And it is a 12 skein mini set. 12 skein mini kit pattern rather. And so you could definitely make two of them. Or as one of our customers did, they used like 23 of the skeins to just keep repeating the sections. Okay, let's look. Woo! little gnome bag to put all the goodies in let's take this out for now oh look at all the goodies some stitch markers hot chocolates tea see and then you can put all the candy in the little santa gnome bag see giardelli rolls tootsie rolls this year, we just put them loose in the bag instead of trying to put them in all those little boxes. So next year, we're probably going to use bags so that we get the candy in. Or there's originals, which are my favorite. Some broth, so let's just get this stuff out of here. More Giardelli. Giardelli is like one of my favorite chocolates too. These gummies, which are so delicious. Let me just tell you, mm, I love them. Oh, I got two of them. More Heath Bars. I love Heath Bars. Another hot chocolate. Oh, look at this adorable little notepad. You can write down. I have it upside down. You can write down some of your knitting stuff or some notes or ideas. That's adorable. More candy. More candy. More candy. Oh, look at this little pen. To write with your on your notepad. See? Isn't that cute? Little key a stitch holder what I use this for is I put all my collectible stitch markers from Woolwalk walk on there so you know all the stuff I've collected over the years it sits on there in my little knitting um, notions thing more candy more candy oh puppy snips these are great for a little bag because they're like really small and they have a little cap I think this is an octopus one Oh no, it's a kitty one. And um, it's really great for a project bag. You know, it's great to just snip the ends of the yarn. More candy. More candy. Taking out all the candy. You know, that little gnome bag is not big enough for all that candy. Okay, so let's go. Let's start with day one. Now I will kill some of these names because it is gemstones um, and some of the names are a little hard to pronounce so okay so this first one is fluorite let's look at that Ooh, some purples and pinks just gonna put them back in day two is carolite purples and grays and some black and half of these were dyed by me and half of them were dyed by Jess and the big skeins and minis are also available on our website if you miss getting the advent calendar there are we did dye up some afterwards here is a tonal it is called amethyst Because we did a two variegateds and a tonal, so that it, the tonals will break up the um, in the patterns. This is called Peacock Ore. And these are all sock minis. They're 92 yards, 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. Here's Peacock Ore. Pinks and blues and purples. Here is... glass look at that 
Most of the um, colorways for this advent were brand new. I think 22 of the 24 were brand new and the big skein was definitely brand new because it was a collaboration between Jeff and I. Here is Aquamarine. A brand new tonal. Look at that. Day number seven. This is called Turquoise Agate or Aggie. I'm not sure how you say it. Oh, yeah. Turquoises and blues with speckles. pork bin too fell out this is called malachite and chrysocolla oh some kelly green and some tealy green yellow speckles this is called jade Jade green. That's not showing up on camera as well as it's much brighter. I don't know how it's showing up on camera. I'm looking at the camera, but day 10. Pink tourmaline. Some greens and some pinks, some pink speckles. Day 11. Oh, I forgot to tell you what it was. It's called Aura Quartz. Some greens and some pinks and some other greens. Day 12. Let's see. Pink Petalite. Reminds me of Pedialyte, but. Oh. oh, that's a cute, dusty, dusty pink. I like that. I know, it's kind of rude saying I like the colors in my, uh... but you know, sometimes I forget what's in here and I look at it and I'm like, oh yeah, Ruby Zoizit. I'm sure I'm killing that name, but. Oh, look at that. Some really deep pinks, maroony pinks, some foresty greens. And you know, we dyed this and put it together so that you could start knitting on day one and it coordinates all the way through. So you don't even have to like worry about, you know, picking and choosing. If you want, you can just start knitting on day one and just keep going. This is called Red Crackle. Oh, and then there's a darning needle in that too. Ooh, look at that. Deep reds, some burgundy, almost black. Day 15, Red Jasper. Look at that, that's a nice tonal. Deep red, deep red. Number 16, Bloodstone. Oh, grays and pinks and teal. Okay, number 17, Labradorite. Ooh, blacks and blues and some greens, like light greens. It's kind of cool. Just move some of this stuff over. Day 18, Dark Granite. Oh, 
Oh, this is grays and black speckles. This could be a tonal or a variegated, depending on how you use it. Dark gray, light gray, black with speckles. Day 19. Okay, this one I'm really cripple. Carnelian. Now it's hard to come up with 24, uh, 25 gemstones, geodes, gemstones, geodes, and rocks. And uh, so we had to look and find stuff, you know, because we didn't just want to put like amethyst and turquoise, plus we would have run out. So, um, you know, we had to, so some of the names we've never heard pronounced. So here's carnelian, uh, deep oranges and rusts and some gray and brown. And we're coming in to the last few days. This day 20, sunstone. Oh, that's cheery. Oranges and yellows. Kind of imagine what you would think of when you hear the word sunstone. Very cheery, bright yarn. Day 21, amber. Oh, and one of our stitch markers. Nice bright yellow tonal. Day 22, yellow fluorite. Oh, look at that. Browns and yellows and a little bit of golden. Yeah. Day 23, fire quartz. Let's see, I bet you can guess what color this is gonna be. Yeah, it looks like fire. Reds and orange and yellows. Fire quartz. And the last day of the minis, day 24, Fire Opal. A nice tonal, like a peachy orange. Look at that. Okay, now there was also an option to get a full skein for day 25. So let's open up that. Dun, dun, dun. And this nice like satiny bag. And this is called Andalusite, okay? Jess and I both put our labels on here because we weren't able to get a label made combining our labels, but we're gonna do that for this year because um, we've already come up with a design. So here's Andalusite. So it has greens several greens and several oranges, yellows. And that is the full skein if you ordered it. And we definitely have more of this in stock too. So, so there you have it. This is the um, advent calendar for our shop for 2022. Our 2023 advent calendar is on sale now and we've already sold about half of it. And so if you want to come and see this in person, feel free, it is on display in the store. And um, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this little look and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.